Hey coaches, I'm going to give you a short demo on how to use virtual displays so you can use computer monitors or televisions to run your scoreboards at your tournaments. So first off, your computer, uh, I'm on a computer with two screens, so right now where the cursor is is my secondary screen, but I would have um, initially right clicked on my main screen, display settings, I would have gone down here to extend my displays and notice you're on the extended display so that I don't want this to be my main screen I want this to be my secondary screen I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of your way so you'd extend it and then you would click apply and it would make that an extended screen um, let me go ahead and move away from there now so my if I'm running a tournament here's my tournament controller for my bouts right and I would have my matches here um, this is from a tournament that um, was from last year so there are no more bouts loaded on it but for the computerized display I want to use this virtual button right and again my my scoring screen would be on my main display and then but I'm putting it here just so you can see that I'm click the virtual button and then I have many options here for layouts right and everyone wants to click the folk style layout because oh it's a folk style tournament but you get a really crappy display right here okay so um, what I would do is right click back and for a tournament display I would use landscape would be one of my primary choices because that one will auto fit the screen and if I hit F11 or right click full screen, or I'm sorry, it's not right click, it's, um, there should be a full screen display option. Well, on a, on a PC, it's F11. It automatically fills the full screen space, and I don't have to worry about font sizing it. Or if you want to get rid of the names and have more um, space dedicated to just score and time and period which are the important things they have this one called the BW3 and that one you might have to mess a little bit with the font size but if you click that one display you'll see you have bout number you got your score you got your time you got your period so you're maximizing visibility of your event um, we do have this black bar here at the bottom so I can kinda get rid of that by messing with the font size here and let's just take that up to 80 and we see that now we fit the screen pretty well okay so you're gonna have to mess with that to figure out what works best for you but that would be for a tournament scenario um, let me get out of this from the tournament scenario if I'm running dual meets I also can do this on my dual meet so let's just say that I'm running this dual meet this is one that I pulled from last year and um, let's just say that this match hadn't happened yet but um, I'm going to load a match that's already been loaded but I can also use the virtual display in my dual meet for my live entry button live entry I can also go virtual now for dual meet uh, if you go to the one called Shane um, you'll get a pretty good display here actually no I'm sorry yeah it's got the team score here but it's kinda hard to see um, especially because it's not it's the same color I mean it's red and green and that's tough to see uh, my recommendation actually for dual meets that I use when I run a dual meet is this one called SNWA team score when I click that one it's just gonna give me what I need right F11 it's gonna give me my match score my weight class my time and my team score on the bottom you will see that this one's a little cut off on the bottom which means again I, I will uh, back up and adjust my font size accordingly and just take my best guess and now I have full screen bout score up here team score down here and weight class at the top so there we go Good luck this year. You can always uh, send me an email, coachdelgado at gmail.com if you have questions. Thank you.